Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who doesn't know me yet, I am Jane Wandasan. I am the creator of this channel. Alright, so my last tutorial was about how to get subscribers on YouTube. So for this day, I will show you how did I do my video thumbnails. Okay, what is the use of thumbnail? YouTube video thumbnail is very important for you to gain subscribers. Why? It is because this is the main cover of your video and this is the one that can attract audience attention. Before we proceed, like and subscribe my channel. Just click the thumbs up and then click also subscribe and notify yourself by clicking the bell and then type your question here in the comment and then comment. I just want to have a big big shout out to the following channels. My vacation rental channel, Jane's Vacation Rentals. Don't forget to subscribe. You can like the page on the Facebook page and subscribe to this channel and check what are the available rooms or units for short or long term rentals. You can check in in Metro Manila, SMDC Light Residences located at Mandaluyong, Silk Residences located at Santa Mesa, Manila River City Residences located at Santa Ana, and for long-term rentals, Residence by Commonwealth by Sanctuary located at Commonwealth Quezon City. For Cavite area, Amaris Homes located at Baco or Cavite. There are more vacation rentals still for constructions. So just keep browsing Jane's Vacation Rentals on the FB page to see all the available units that is good for you. And now guys, I would like to thank you to my friend Mark for always watching my channel. For sure, he will watch this video as well. Heather, visit also his channel, MJB Works and Vlogs. Okay, so now guys, let's go back to our main topic. How to make a YouTube video thumbnail. Anyway guys, there are many software you can use for editing your video thumbnail. But what I want to show you now is how did I edit my thumbnail. So all of my video thumbnails, I am just making it by Adobe Photoshop. What software I have here to be exact is Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Alright, so let's start. So let's search the Photoshop. Okay, there you go. And then double click the Adobe Photoshop in here. Okay. And then it's opening. And then now let's expand. All right. So this is the Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop CC. So let's start. Click File. Click New. Okay. And then click on the Custom. And then size it to 6 by 4. And then click ingest. And then now you can create it. Now click create or if you want to change the background. Okay, click this one. And then click any background that you like. And then now click OK. Alright, now create. Alright, so this is the new file now. So this is the uh, one that we're going to put your thumbnail. Okay, or this is the thumbnail. Alright, and then now let's put some text in it or your title. So click the T symbol in there and then click the horizontal style there. It's up to you if you want horizontal or vertical. Okay, now change the color. Click or choose the color that you like and then click OK. Okay, and then now... Yeah, so let's start the uh, typing. Okay, so for example, your ti uh, the title is uh, it's all all about Jane's vacation rentals. Okay, so let's put all about. Wait a minute. Okay, this is so big. So let's resize the size. So let's select all and then click on this here. Okay, and then resize it or size it to this one. Okay, now let's click on the arrow in there. Yep, and drag it. Okay, 
and then now let's continue typing so click the t symbol and then continue jane's vacation rentals all right there you go and then resize it again okay until it will fit on the screen and then drag it there you go put it in the center so that's the use of that tool okay you can drag anywhere okay there you go and then now let's put some pictures all right okay so now let's click on the file and then click open all right now choose the picture that you like so for example you like this one so click it you can double click it or click open open okay and then now this one let's drag this one to the file that we are editing there you go okay now let's drag it and then size it resize it there you go all right now let's add more pictures okay so the same thing click on the file and then open okay and then choose the other picture that you like and then open okay and then drag this one to the file that we are editing there you go and then drag it to resize it anyway you need to click on the shift so that it will not distort it okay it will not be distorted okay there you go all right okay so now let's finalize it let's check if it's in the middle if it's not then let's drag it on the right until it will become on the middle or in the center okay so finalizing it now there you go okay it's perfect now let's put this one drag it on the left side okay there you go and then is it all good now okay let's put this higher all right there you go so it's perfect now so we have already a thumbnail okay entitled all about jane's vacation rentals all right and then now let's save it okay so what we need to do now is uh, let's click on the file and then click save us all right and then put the file name of this thumbnail all right and then okay let's change the file format all right so let's put it on jpeg click jpeg and then click save and then click OK. All right, so now we have already the thumbnail. Okay, all right, so now this is your final thumbnail now. All right, so thank you for watching. Okay, so if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Miss Jane Wandasan.